Are you looking for a new way to base your figures? Have you tried using tree bar? It's a very cool way to create rocky or woody structures to your bases, giving it a very natural look. It's really easy and a cheap way to make excellent bases. How cheap? I got this huge bag of bark for eight bucks. That's enough to base tons of armies. Of course, you can go outside and pick at your tree as well, but that makes me feel funny. That and the neighbors called the cops on me the last time I tried. So grab a pair of needle nose pliers, an extractable blade, and I'll show you how to really quickly make a base with some tree bark. Okay, so what we do is uh, grab a bunch of pieces. Uh, that's what I usually do. And then, um, and then grab your base. Uh, so easy, it's really easy. Just use your imagination, see what uh, looks good. Even the big piece of the bark right there could have worked. But right here, I had a little image in my mind about how it'll come out. So we'll go ahead and put aside the little pieces, or the other pieces. I'll pick this little piece here. Okay, take your needle nose plier and then just pull it out, you know, to size, you know, how, how big you want it. It could, you know, be overhanging in your base or you might want it to be part of your base. You know, it all depends on you. Just use your imagination. When you use a needle nose plier, just make sure you just, you know, pulling it. Don't use anything, don't make it uniform because, you know, make it a little more natural. You gotta make the uh, edges there um, just random. Okay, unless that's what you want to do. You want to make the sides, uh, you know, very straight or what have you. What you do is go ahead and pull up the knife. I'm going to do that in a bit. Right now, I'm just sizing it down, picking at it, seeing what comes out of it, how it looks. I don't want it overhanging too much as it's going to be hard to store, obviously. And you see all those little pieces there, save them. Put them in a bag, save them, because you can actually use them to, you know, pile up, glue together make different types of bases with it. And uh, that's why I love this tree bark stuff. Now here, just I'm pulling up my retractable knife here. I'm gonna have to shave down some of the areas here and uh, various uh, edges. See how it just makes it really straight. So you could, uh, you know, use the knife to make, uh, you know, side effect, you know, the effects on the side a little more straight, like a cliff or something. But here is a little too straight for me, so I took the needle nose pliers and uh, went ahead and just pulled at it, grappled it, plucked at it, whatever you want to use to describe it. Now when you're satisfied, go ahead and uh, grab the glue gun and don't do what I do here. I, I pulled the glue out and that stuff's hot. All right, safety. Safety on the knife and the glue gun, be careful what you're doing. I have to say that, I guess, in my videos. So just apply enough glue. Now I find, you could use crazy glue, but I find that the glue gun works way, way better. And it dries faster. You just pluck it on your base. Voila. Got a nice little looking base there. And then now, it's up to you. What I'm gonna do is primer it black, because I'm gonna make it look like rock, like a slate of rock that the figure's gonna be standing on. So we'll just go ahead and apply a coat of uh, primer of black on there. Now to make it look like rock, what I'm using is miniature, um, miniature paint. I'm using um, charred stone. And I'll mix a little royal blood in it. Now the royal blood is actually blue so I'll mix about two drops in there five drops to uh, two drops of uh, royal blood mix it up really good there and we're gonna spray it on now what the blue does is gives you know that rock that a little bluish to the gray it makes them look a little more natural now it's just turned out it turned out pretty dark um, but I will go ahead and display that uh, afterwards we're taking um, dusty earth and we're gonna go ahead and dry brush it on. Simple as that, very easy. Now, when I was um, dry brushing it, it nicked some stuff off. So what I do is just go and grab the charred earth again, the darker gray, and just plug it up. And there you have it. Now, depending on the colors you paint, you can make it different materials for your base. Heck, if you like, go all up natural and give it a very woodsy feel. And that's how you base your minis with tree bark. 
quick, cheap, and simple. What more can you ask for? Now, if you buy a big bag of this stuff and you're coming out of your ears with tree bark, you can use it for other things. If you like building terrain, these are great for making realistic terrains as you see here. I'll show you how to make these type of terrains in another upcoming video. But for now, I hope this has helped you add more life to those miniatures of yours. This is Chung, and I'm out. I'll see you in the next video.